Well, we've had a good year at Oshkosh. It's been a great year, actually. Um, the year at Oshkosh was clearly a, a good success. We had a great success, actually. Many first-time aircraft appearances, such as the 787 Dreamliner, which we had on Friday, was a huge draw for not only the local markets, but aviators across the country are still talking about it. And if you were fortunate enough to get up close to the Dreamliner and see it and tour it, you'll understand why. It's a fantastic aircraft. Long-awaited returns, including the B-29 Super Fortress, which was a big draw, especially for those fans of World War II aircraft and older aircraft. Mostly, it was the airplanes that brought us all together, and we had record number of airplanes this year. Those of you that know the, four, the North 40, you, you saw how early it filled up and how full it stayed. We estimate this year well over 10,000 airplanes. Looks like the number is going to bump up there, I'd say, around 12,000, so we'll have those counts later, but that's a great turnout of aircraft on the field this year. The night air show, record crowd. Saturday was a fantastic day. We had a fireworks display that capped off the night that was twice as long, twice as big as last year. A huge local draw and we must say it was one of the most talked about features uh, of the weekend was the night air show and the night fireworks display. So here's some more numbers for you. We had a terrific performance in terms of the gate. After a couple of soft days with the rain and the weather, midweek, Wednesday and Thursday, it looks like we're going to be up over 2010 around 4 to 5 percent. So that's a very strong performance and a great turnout of our people. Registered over 2,500 show planes this year. We had over 800 exhibitors who enjoyed the world's largest general aviation marketplace. I'll share with you now what's happening or what's expected to happen at AirVenture 2012. Of course, there's a lot of work to do, but next year will be our 60th anniversary of the e annual EAA fly-in, now known as AirVenture. Next year, we'll be, we're going to be celebrating the 75th anniversary of an iconic aircraft, the Piper Cub. So we're going to invite all the Cub owners across the country to be here. We're going to have special Cub, cub events, and we're going to enjoy this place in a big color of yellow. I hope we can turn the field yellow next year. And then next year, a special salute to Dick Van Grossman who has created the most popular aircraft kit in the world, the Vans RV series. And also next year, a salute to the Tuskegee Airmen with all surviving members of the famous World War II fighter group attending Oshkosh next year. So those are some of the highlights you can expect, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks for making this year a good year, a great year, and of course the weather always helps, would you agree? So thank you all. Aero TV is brought to you by Abadon is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy to use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide in replacement for existing 530 series navigators and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head down time and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy, Avidyne.